everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a what's in my bag video. I know I promised this video a long time ago, like about a month ago, but I do have a legitimate reason for it taking me a while to get it filmed. I got really, really sick. I caught COVID and I was sick for almost a whole month with it. And when I say I damn near died from it, I mean, I literally, I really thought I wasn't going to pull through. It was, I was that sick. So I am very sorry it took me a while to get this video put out to you, but I'm doing it now, so I hope I'm forgiven. Anyway, it is featuring my Mulberry Zipped Base Water. And this one is in the color oak and the size small. When I say I love this bag, I that's an understatement. I have been using this bag nonstop since I got it. And that's, uh, that's kind of a record for me. Like I have a lot of handbags, so I like to switch them pretty often. And every time I would even think about switching out of this bag and into another one, I would just kind of get this feeling in my gut. And I was like, oh, but I don't want to change out of it because I love it so much. And it's just such a beautiful bag and I love using it and it's the perfect size. So this one is called the small, but I would venture to say that this is really more of a medium to large capacity bag because it fits so much stuff. And I don't have to, you know, pick and choose what I want to put inside my bag when I'm using this. And that means a lot to me. So I love the fact that it doesn't look enormous, but it still has an extremely large capacity so I can fit all of my essentials in here plus some. So I usually leave my zipper open and this is what the inside of the bag looks like. It's you it's just one big open compartment and it has one slip pocket on the back side here. And as you can see, like I have it stuffed and it doesn't have any pressure points anywhere on the bag. So nothing is bulging or sticking out of the leather or making awkward like um shapes on the outside. So yeah. So I'm just going to hold the bag like this and grab the things out and show you so that you can look at the bag the whole time. And I know a lot of you like to be able to see the bag um, as the stuff is being pulled out. So the first thing I have on top here is just a little pack of Kleenex. Unfortunately, this has been an essential for me the last month and a half, so Kleenex. And the next thing I have is my reading glasses. These are new actually, these are Vera Bradley. And let me just show them to you really quick. I love the case, but I will say the case is very bulky. I wish the case was a little slimmer. So I may end up putting them in a slimmer case, but that's what the glasses look like. They're just really kind of funky looking and fun. So that's my Vera Bradley reading glasses. They are prescription. And then I have my little Papaya Art pouch. Um, I started using this again, and in here I just have my little um, my little Bible, and I have one. I bought one for me and one for my son, and he keeps his in his backpack for school. And then some of my little eye wetting drops because my ophthalmologist did tell me that I have dry eye syndrome. So this is my papaya art pouch. I've had this a really long time. It's probably. Um, eight years old at least it's very old anyway and then the next thing I have in my purse is my uh, wet brush this is a new one I just got this from Ulta and I've really enjoyed carrying a brush with me again I wasn't carrying a brush around with me and I just started carrying a brush again and I love it so I have my brush and then I have my little coach pouch oh that's the back side my little coach pouch i love this little pouch let me show you what's inside of it and this is a i don't know like a gross grain leather i don't know if you're able to see that or not and i just love this beautiful orange tangerine color that it has and in here i just keep all of my tech stuff so i have my airpods my airpods are the uh, second edition and then I have like a power cord. I have a little stand to put my phone on. I have a power cube, which is actually a round one. So mine is round. And I also have a little stylus so that I can use. 
that instead of my fingers if I don't want to get my um, screen all fingerprinty, which I don't usually care. I usually just use my fingers. And the next thing I have in here is my Louis Vuitton uh, clay, zippered clay. It just has my car keys in it. And I have a small notebook that I like to keep in my purse because I like to take notes uh, of things that I need. So when I think about something like I'm about to run out of something, I usually will take this out and I'll write it down. So I have a little list going of the things that I am running low on that I need to uh, get more of. So I have this little notebook in here and I think this is just from Target. It's just their little Cambridge collection. And the next thing I have in my bag is a pack of Trident gum, which is almost empty. I have, oh, my trusty pen case that says wildflowers on it. And I got this from Barnes and Noble years ago, and it just has three pens in it. I keep my Swarovski pens in it, and then a white Jelly Rolls gel pen. Because my journal, I do journal every day almost, and my journal has uh, pictures on it, and some of the pages are dark, so I need a light colored pen to write on those pages. And the next thing I have in my purse is my trusty mirror. You guys have seen this if you've watched any of my What's In My Bag videos. It's just a regular mirror, it's double-sided, and it does have a light on it, so it lights up, and you can see, in uh, like if you're in a car and it's dark, and then I just turn the light off. Sometimes the light gets turned on and it stays on in my purse and I've had my battery die because of that. The next thing I have is my wallet. This one is just the Gucci Marmont, uh, I think it's called a card case, but it's actually like a mini wallet and it has the pebbled leather. I bought this to go with my Gucci Soho Disco and it's just pink inside. And I love this little wallet. I This is the one I use most of the time. I have so many wallets and that's the one I always go back to. And the next thing is my mini pochette. Um, I'll go through this if you want me to. Really, actually, I'm not gonna go through this, and let me tell you why. Because it's just full of medicine. So different packets of medicine, like ibuprofen, stomach medicine, allergy medicine, headache medicine, wipes, that kind of stuff. So this is really just kind of like a little pharmaceutical pouch for me that I keep medicine and stuff in. And that's usually what I primarily use my mini pochette for is just that kind of stuff. And it's getting emptier here. And then I have some paperwork. I'm not really sure what most of this is. Oh, this is a really nice note that my son's teacher wrote to me about him, just saying how well he's doing. And then my eye stuff, um, yeah, it's just papers, it's boring. And then the next thing I have in here is oh, more, more papers. So these are mostly just coupons, like from, what is this one from? Victoria's Secret, Ulta, and then some paperwork from my doctor's appointment. And then the next thing I have is, okay, this little thing is so neat. So this is kind of like a dermaplaning razor and it's called Nomo Stash. Nomo Stash. Wait, am I? Yeah, there we go. No mustache. And it comes in a little plastic resealable pouch. It's like a little Ziploc slider pouch. And it's just a little facial razor. So if you have like a little peach fuzz that you want to get rid of or shape up your eyebrows really fast, or if you have a mustache or a little chin hair or something, you just open it up like this. And yeah, so you have a little dermaplaning razor. And so I keep this in here, just in case, you never know. You never know what you're gonna need it for, right? If you can hear anything in the background, that's my son. I can hear him, but you may not be able to. And then um, a receipt, and let me see. And then last in the large compartment is this pouch. So 
this pouch has a ton of stuff in it. I'm gonna go through it very fast because I don't want this video to be super duper long. But as you can see, this is one of the cons that I was going to mention about this bag, and this is the perfect thing to show you on. If you can see all of the little fibers all over this pouch, that's just thread. Um, but all of the little fibers all over this pouch. This is like a velvet pouch. It's a Rinaldi, uh, what is it? It's, I don't know, It's it basically means Rebel Queen in Spanish, but I can't read what that says. It's the writing is weird. But I think it's Reina Rebalde or something like that, which means Rebel Queen. Anyway, but as you can see all these little fibers on here, that is the suede from the inside of this bag. So as you can see, the interior of this bag is suede and this suede does kind of shed. So it's kind of like having a cat rub up against your leg and they leave their little remnants behind. This will leave its remnants behind on certain materials that it will stick to. And it definitely sticks to this like velvety velour kind of material. So this thing is stuffed full. And when I say stuffed full, you have, it is stuffed full. So I'm gonna go through it very, very fast. I have my inhaler. I have my NARS lip gloss. This is in the um, color, I think it's uncharted or unbroken. I think it's unbroken or unspoken, something like that. I have a NYX butter gloss and spiked toffee. Whoops, I dropped it. Anyway, I'm actually wearing that right now with this, my Stila Stay All Day uh, liquid lipstick in the color Sheer Splendor. So that's the lip combo I'm wearing at the moment. I have my Laneige lip balm. I have my Jo Malone lip conditioner, Urban Decay Fuel lip gloss. It's The color is Fuel. It's my favorite Urban Decay lip gloss. I have a small Benefit uh, blush in California. I have a Tarte lip balm. This one is just a sheer color. I don't know if you want to see it or not, but I pretty much veer towards all the same colors. Um, anytime I go shopping with my friend, she always uh, questions why I'm buying another lipstick because I no doubt have 70 to 100 colors like that at home already. And then I have my Charlotte Tilbury in Bitch Perfect. And yes, you heard me correctly, that's the name. And then I have my uh, Kat Von D in Lolita. I have a lighter. I have a hair clip. I have another lipstick, Urban Decay. This one is in the color Liar. It's my favorite lip color from Urban Decay. This one's a little pinky. Uh, it's a little pinker than what I typically wear, but I still love it. I have my Dior Lip Glow, and this one is in the color, I think it's called Rosewood. It's very pretty. It's very sheer, and it just gives you a really pretty natural color to your lips. I have a panty liner. I have a Benefit What's Up highlighter. I have a MAC lipstick in the color Shanghai Spice. Again, you can see all these colors are pretty much the same. I have my City Lips Lip Gloss. I don't go anywhere without that. If you haven't tried that stuff, you need to try it like it's a miracle worker. I have my little set of Tweezerman tweezers. A hair bobble. Anastasia uh, Lip Gloss in the color Kristen. A Sephora Lip Liner. A NYX Lip Liner. A MAC lip liner. <laughs> I don't need all this. I don't know why this is ridiculous. And then I have this one in the color, what is that? Whirl. It's just a little small MAC lipstick in the color Whirl. I feel like the lipstick looks different than the lip liner. And then another MAC lip liner. This one's in cork. Um, a little liquid black eyeliner from Tarte. It's called Sex Kitten. I have a pen in here. Oh, this is new. This is a Fenty Beauty lipstick, and I don't remember what the name of this one is. And I don't have my glasses on, so I probably can't tell you. Anyway, the packaging is really pretty. It's iridescent. 
and it's by Fenty Beauty, if you can see that or not. And here's the color, it's a very pretty color. It looks a lot pinker than it actually is. It's actually more of like a rosewood color. And then I have another Charlotte Tilbury. This one's probably Pillow Talk. Yep, Pillow Talk. And these are all just variations of pink. How boring. Another MAC lip liner. Another MAC lip liner. Some nail clippers. These are really good. I like this brand, Kala. My little, uh, is this case? Yes, my little case pocket knife that goes everywhere with me. A Jo Malone perfume in English Pear and Freesia. My little brush from Clinique for my blush that I keep in here. A glass nail file. If you don't have a glass nail file, ladies, you need one, or gentlemen. Everyone needs a glass nail file. They're better for your nails than the emery boards are. I have a tooth placker. Okay, I know that's gross. It's just floating around in here, loose, but it hasn't been used yet. And that is everything that is inside of this pouch. And I actually picked up this pouch at JCPenney's because I think they're gonna start carrying, I'm not a big JCPenney's fan, I'm not gonna lie to you. I usually go in there because that's where our Sephora is located. And I happened to come across this little brand in this pouch and I just really thought it was cute because it looks like the old timey, um, like sailors tattoos and stuff. So really thought it was pretty. And then the inside has the, um, I think this is like her iconic pattern, the roses. So that's everything that was in there. And now the bag is practically empty with the exception of this little slip pouch right here, which I have just maxed out to the hilt. You know, I take everything and I just like go overboard. So in that pouch, I have another unused tooth placker. I hate having food stuck in my teeth. Um, I have panty liners. I have a Barnes & Noble gift card that I got for Christmas. Another Barnes & Noble gift card that I got for Christmas. Anybody who knows me knows I absolutely love to read and you can never go wrong buying me a Barnes & Noble gift card because I just love it so much. And I could spend all day in there. I have an Ulta gift card that I got for Christmas. I have this little pouch that I keep receipts in. And then, um, oh, I have a gift card from Crumble Cookies. A Target receipt. There will undoubtedly always be at least one Target receipt in my purse. I love Target. This is actually the paperwork from Mulberry that goes with my bag. I just keep it in there. And then this is my little uh, moleskin book. And it is basically my, um, it's like a password holder for me. That's what I use it for. I use it to write down all of my login information for all the different websites that I have to log into and have passwords and stuff. So yeah, so that was everything that was in this bag. It is now empty, completely empty. As you can see, it holds a absolute ton of stuff. Like this bag is definitely not, it's called small, but it's not a small capacity. And if you are interested in this bag, I will post it. I'll put the link down below where it will take you directly to this bag, but then you can, you know, choose whatever color you want. And uh, so this bag is kind of like a mainstay on the Mulberry website. I don't think they're ever gonna get rid of this bag. Like they'll probably never get rid of the Bayswater Heritage bag because that's also one of their iconic pieces. And although this is a newer design, it's very iconic piece for Mulberry now. So yeah, and then the oak color I think is something that they always offer because oak is like their signature color. And of course, that's the one that I wanted. I wanted the oak. And so, um, yeah, would I recommend this bag? Highly recommend this bag. It comes in two sizes now. It comes in the small and it comes in the mini. They used to offer a larger version. Um, so one size up from this one. And then they offered one size down from the mini, which was the micro. But they no longer are making those. Uh, I don't know if they will come out with them as special editions in the future. But for now, the only two size options you have are small and mini. And the mini is actually a pretty good size as well if you're looking for like a smaller crossbody bag. And um, the mini holds quite a bit. There's, I think there's more videos on YouTube of the mini than there are of this bag. 
but uh, yeah. So I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that I purchased it. I would love to get another mul mulberry bag in the future. I think their quality is amazing. Obviously, I've only had it for, you know, about two and a half months. So I can't really speak for like the durability or, you know, longevity, how long it's gonna last me. But I can say that I have had this bag um, for two and a half months and I've used it every single day for work. It has accidentally been bumped up against walls, which I did have a slight heart attack over. But uh, yeah, I mean like it's it's been a great bag. I've used it for work. I use it as my everyday bag. It does have a removable shoulder strap and I mean it hasn't had I mean I haven't gotten any wear on it so far it seemed to be pretty durable I have been caught in absolute torrential downpours with this bag and it got completely soaking wet once I got inside my car I just wiped it down and it was fine like it didn't do anything to the leather it didn't hurt it it didn't bubble up or discolor it nothing like that so I would say this is a very hardy bag and I would definitely definitely recommend it to any of you who are interested because it is a beautiful bag it's very chic elegant it can be dressed up dressed up it can be dressed down so yeah if you are thinking about a mulberry bag I would say go for it because from my experience with this one so far the quality is impeccable um, I have no problems with the glazing. The glazing is beautiful. And yeah, so I can definitely see more mulberry bags in my future. And yeah, so, oh, I, I promised to go through the pros and cons. So the pros of this bag are that um, it does have a sturdy construction. It's very durable. The leather is very durable. It's not gonna scratch easily. And I like that it comes with a removable shoulder strap. So if you wanna wear it on your shoulder and be hands-free, you can. Um, the leather is a, uh, like I said, it's a very hardy leather, which can also lead to one of the cons. And one of the cons is that this bag can become extremely heavy. If you have it packed down, and as you saw, I do, um, it can become extremely heavy to carry. So, uh, but, the, but a pro is that these are rolled handles, so they're very comfortable on your arms and they don't hurt. They don't cut into your arm when you're carrying it. And I have like kind of skinny forearms and so I, you know, typically have problems with that, but I haven't had a problem with this bag. So I would say that there are definitely more pros to this bag than there are cons. I would think maybe one of the cons might be that this shoulder strap is a little on the thin side. It's kind of skinny for it being such a big bag. So it doesn't, to me, the strap should be a tiny bit, maybe a, a few millimeters wider than it is, but it's not an uncomfortable strap. I mean, it's it serves its purpose. And I think, you know, this bag is meant primarily to be carried by hand or in the crook of your arm anyway. So this is just for, you know, in case you need to. Uh, it's kind of too big to use as a crossbody this size is if you wear it crossbody It looks very awkward because it's kind of a boxy bag at the bottom. It's very structured So it sticks pretty far out from your body So that might be a con for someone But really I mean and then apart from the you know the suede on the interior kind of shedding on your things like you know how it gets it kind of got all over this little pouch. See the little pieces all over it. Um, apart from that, you know, I don't really have any cons to talk about with this bag. I love it. I love it so much. I know some people have had a problem with their handles. Um, after using it for so long, their handles will like flop down. I haven't had that issue, but then again, when I open my bag, I don't grab the handle to open it. I open it like this. So, you know, I think my, what might be happening in those instances is they're grabbing their handle to open their bag up and it's bending this down. And so when they do, then it's losing the, you know, the stiffness that it has right here, but I don't have any problem with mine. They still both stand up very nicely. And yeah, so Mulberry Zipped Base Water in the color oak, size small. If you have any questions about this bag, please feel free to put them down in the comments section. I will get to your uh, comments as soon as I can. 
or if you have any questions about any of the items that I showed you, you know, again, put them down in the comments section. I'm happy to answer all of your questions. I will get around to them eventually. Um, if you're curious about the jewelry I'm wearing, if you've seen my other videos, then you know it's Ana Luisa. I always wear my Ana Luisa jewelry. This one is part of the, I believe the Michelle set. Might be part of the Cardi set. Anyway, but these two pieces went together. So this is just like a little um, large length chain and then a medallion that has like the little chain hammered chain and then I have my little dagger earrings on I don't think that's what they're called I will also link, link my Ana Luisa jewelry down below if you're interested and then the other two pairs of earrings are just like some little hoops and some little studs they're not Ana Luisa but the little dagger earrings are and the necklace is so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video again I'm sorry it took me so long to get it out to you but you know like I said I was <laughs> deathly ill and I'm so glad to be better now I never want that stuff again ever and so anyway so I hope all of you guys stay healthy and safe have a happy new year I hope you had an amazing Christmas and got to spend lots of time with your loved ones and friends and family and yeah I'll see you in my next video talk to you later mm -hmm.